Hi, this is Tim. I want to show you some new features we're working on on the SIM IPE. It's always been able to change static IP addresses on Ethernet devices, but just like every other device, if you're actually changing from one network to a completely different network, there's always been a few additional hurdles. So I'm going to plug directly into this Compact Logix PLC. Typically, if I'm going to change an IP address, the first thing I would do is go read unknown. That way I know that I'm connected to the right one. And this is 192.168.1.161. And I'm going to click OK to set that to our target IP. We hit cancel and go back to our main menu and go to assign address. And then I would go to replace static IP. And we've made some significant improvements to this part. So first, it's going to ask you what IP address you want to change. And yeah, we did just set that in our target config, but we can use our up and down arrows and we could change that. And that's not that important on a single device, but what it's going to allow us to do is really quickly change multiple IP addresses. So I'm going to click OK. And now it's not only going to ask us what IP address we want to use, it's also going to ask us what network mask and gateway. So we can change the full network configuration. Now let's start off simple. I'm just going to change this to 192.168.1.160. And I'll go down to Execute Replace. I'm going to click Cancel and go back to Read Unknown. And there, now it's 192.168.1.160. But what I can also do is one, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. That's going to set it to my target IP. And I'm going to go back to assign address, replace static IP. And this is what we want to change, 160. So I'm going to hit OK. Now, not only can I change that last octave, but I can change it to a whole different network. So I'm going to make it 2.160. And in this case, our network mask will be exactly the same. Notice that our gateway, it went ahead and changed it. Now, maybe your gateway is different, but it's going to do its best to figure out what it would be. I'll go down to Execute Replace. Now we hit Cancel. And we can go to Read Unknown. And now it's 192.168.2.160. We can leverage this to change IP addresses of entire networks. Click here to learn about that. Till next time.